This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2020 XLR Micro Boost toy hauler, and the model number is 25LRLE. So, this is a how to video. I'm just going to show you some of the features, okay? Of course, you have a power awning with LED strip, outside speakers, a TV mount with a um, TV signal out plus a power. All right. Come around to the front here. You're getting a hitch with this, so it's a uh, Husky Centerline weight distribution hitch with built in sway control. We'll show you how that operates when you pick up. Your spare tire in there. This is just a hookup for a, a kit, a Furion uh, solar panel, portable solar panel battery charger kit. That's all that is. Um, it's just an option if you were interested. You have a deep cycle marine battery, two LP tanks with automatic changeover regulator. Uh, they're all both full. You have a power tongue jack. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. More of the same on the other side, I believe. You have your basically your dump hose and your your uh, electrical uh, reducer reduces from 30 down to uh, 20 amp. Okay. Whoops, my thumb's in the way there. Sorry about that. Um, cable and satellite through. You have your valves here. Black, which is toilet water and waste, and gray, which is sink and shower water. Um, now, if we come down here, you have uh, your the most common way you get water to the trailer is the is the um, city water fill right there. And second, this cap you can unscrew it, and you can actually fill the fresh water tank. So. Um, if you're camping someplace without city water, you can fill, pre-fill the tank and use the onboard pump to pump the water, okay? Uh, this is your black tank flush. After you dump your black tank, you can leave the valve open, hook the hose at the dump station onto here, turn it on and it'll spray out your black tank. It'll clean off the sensors and that sort of thing, so it's a really good thing to do if they have a working hose at the dump station. Of course, there's your 30 amp, 30 foot cord, okay? That's just the service panel for the refrigerator. This is a vent for the range hood, so uh, there's two little tabs underneath and there's a baffle. So if you're going to be venting to the outside, you definitely want to open that baffle so it flaps freely while you're venting to the outside. All right, of course, this is your water heater. Let's see if I can get it open one-handed here. Hopefully. There we go. So it's empty right now because it's winterized. The trailer's winterized. But you can see there's a an electric heating element behind this cover here if you can see it and right here is a is a switch an on and off switch let me show you right there that controls the electric heating element that's behind this cover you also have a burner there'll be a switch inside to start to light the burner but um, never run the electric heating element or the burner unless you've got water in the tank so when you when you after you're done dewinterizing get ready for the summer make sure you fill the water tank before you turn it on okay all right so your, uh, first of all, you can see at the very top there, there's a housing. That's the, um, that shows us this is pre-wired for a Furion backup camera kit, if you're interested. Now, of course, your garage door is here. I can't open it one-handed, so we can show you when you get here, but it's, it works like they all do. And uh, we'll show that to you when you pick up. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, we'll go inside here. Get some light going. Let's see where we're at here. Okay, so when we first walk in the door, you have your fireplace. The fireplace is also a space heater. It's got a fan in it and everything, so it does a really good job. It also has a timer, so you can set it to turn on and turn off as you please. This switch here switches between the air conditioner and the fireplace. So in the summer, you're going to have it on AC, and in the winter, you're going to have it on the fireplace. It just, you can't run both at the same time. Your awning button to extend your power awning. Never leave the power awning out unattended. All right. This is your stereo or your sound. You have AM, FM radio. You have Bluetooth. So you can stream wirelessly from your phone or your tablet. This is the remote here for that. And this is the remote for your, for your fireplace right here. Okay. Uh, you also have a, a USB drive right here. So you can, you know, you know um, 
put all your albums on a USB drive and take them with you. You have a HDMI in, so if you want to go into the system with, let's say, a portable Blu-ray player, you could set it right here and uh, go into the TV set. Um, and it has two speaker zones, uh, zone one and zone two. One is inside the trailer, two is outside the trailer. Uh, there's your hook up there that you can shut this green LED off, but you don't want to do that. That's, that turns on the, the signal booster and the, the power or the digital antenna. So you want that on or you won't get a good picture. Thermostat works like they all do. You, you hit the mode to light it up. And then you just keep hitting mode till you get to the, the one you want. Okay. Um, this, is a, this is a gas absorption nor cold refrigerator. Refrigerator freezer. Okay. Uh, you just turn it on. And... Um, Basically, um, it'll run on both, let's see what we got here. It'll, this will run on both AC power and it'll run on gas. So it's a two-way gas absorption refrigerator. This is your carbon monoxide LP gas detector here. Should always be green like it is, if not get it serviced. Uh, this is your um, power center here. It's your power converter. So you have, um, let's see here, you have 110 AC here when you're plugged in. You can see you got the regular circuit breakers, they're all labeled. 110 AC, then the power is converted to 12 volt DC here. So you got 12 volt fuses. This is also a battery tender, so it'll send so much energy, as long as you're plugged in, it'll send so much energy you uh, have at the tongue, on your battery on the tongue, and it'll keep it charged up. So it charges your battery, it also converts AC to DC. It's called a power converter. Alrighty. Microwave works like any other microwave. Your range cooktop. Always open or always close the glass. I keep it my finger in there. I'm sorry. Always close your black your back uh, or excuse me. Always close the glass cover when you're traveling. You have your sparker right here. You have your burners. I don't know if he's got the gas turned on here, but we'll see. Yeah. It's that simple. You turn this clockwise to spark it. Very simple. Make sure you close this when you're traveling. This is the range hood. Um, we talked about that. Make sure you open the baffle outside when you're venting to the outside. Your keys are hanging here on the faucet. This is your, is your water monitor here. So, um, basically, uh, to turn your water heater on gas, light it on gas is right there. Remember I showed you in the lower left-hand corner on the outside is how you turn on the electrical element. To turn your pump on here, that pump is used to, pump, to pump fresh water out of the fresh water tank. If you don't have city water, it's also used to winterize the trailer. And then you have your battery monitor or your battery level. Uh, fresh water, black water, gray water um, tells you the, the um, levels, okay? Of course, we can go over this a bit more, but this is your gate for your, uh, for your patio. And um, then you have your different uh, uh, beds. They fold out of the way so you can bring in your four-wheeler or dirt bikes, whatever you got. The table is up right now, but that can be collapsed down, folded down, okay? All right. Sink and shower work like any other sink and shower. The toilet is a typical RV toilet, so this is the flush pedal right here. Um, you put a gallon of water in here. And um, chemical before you can use it. So always remember to uh, to dump a chemical or dump your chemical in there, and then you step on the pedal, hold it down long enough to put about a gallon of water in there, and then you're all set. You can't run it dry. If you do, it'll get clogged up. It's also uh, will smell super, really super bad. So you uh, never want to run it without water and chemical. So you have TV hookup and 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 uh, signal out here. Your your uh, Security exit window here, all the usual stuff. This is uh, this folds up, so you got storage underneath the bed. Okay, a power fan up here. All right, so I think that about covers it. Let me look around a bit here. We have some more stuff here. This looks like screening here. Okay, for the back. Um, and I think that pretty much does it. So 
I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. Um, remember, uh, first of all, you want to inspect the roof every, every now and then to make sure there's no damage to it that's caused by low branches or road debris or um, uh, uh, cracking or separation in the sealant. Make sure you do that regularly, just every once or twice a summer, whatever. Um, right now, this is winterized, so there's no water in the system. It's all the water heater's bypassed and the the system's filled with antifreeze and um, that pretty much covers it so let me look one more time here I think we got it all everything is working and um, you're all set ready to go so um, when you come in to pick it up you can look it over take all the time you need and we'll we'll drop the door for you anything you want want us to do we'll do for you okay thank you